Now, what's your name, brother? Uh, Tam. Huh? Tam. 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 T A M. Yeah. Tam. Mm -hmm. Okay, Tam. I'm Uncle Sam. Mm -hmm. Tam, you you're with. The, uh, I'm just gonna restart this. So if you if you don't mind, you're you you're from Gambia and Senegal. Yes, the Gambia. And yes. uh, you believe in the original African faith, right? Uh, which is Afro, which is sort of like African spirit. But for Syria, it's the Syrian um, people. Yeah, generally, but we also have some other ethnic groups that actually practice it before. Mm. But, you know, um, either they were Syrian or they were, um, what's it called, mixed with the Syrian, I had to come down, um, what's it called, the culture, in mm. the, embedded in the Syrian culture. So okay. it's called Afahro, the Syrian spirituality. Very good, thank you. I just wanted to learn and let our audience know more about your faith, mm -hmm. because I find it kind of interesting because this has synergy with a lot of other things that I've come across. Right. And, uh, and, uh, and I would like you to reiterate what we have talked about, basically starting from like, who created the world? Is it a man or a woman was created first? And what are the symbology and all that? Can we just revisit that, please? Yeah, as I was saying to you, um, uh, we have like, we believe that raw, because actually it is fixed. So Ro is spelled R-O-O-H. R-O-O-H. Which is very close to Ro, yeah. which is also a spirit. Okay. Yeah. And uh, particularly, we believe that he created the, 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 um, the universe and everything in it. So you use the term he right now. I'm using that. That's a good point. I'm using the term he, but particularly, he's not a he, a she, or it. It's to, 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 um, because he, we don't believe that because it is too patriarchal. And according to our philosophy and our spiritual beliefs, we believe that particularly, it was the female that Roh created force before creating a man. And the rule that you are talking about created a male or a female first? He created, well, she, he, it created she, a female force. A female force first, yeah. female woman first. Mm -hmm. I see. And then from the female or was it an independently created man? Yes. Outside of no, woman? No, 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 no. Um, created the Roh, had to Roh created the female force, yeah. then created the man. The female f uh, created the man, or no, 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 no. Ro, so the the Ro, yeah. yeah, he is the one who created both of them. But it was forced that the female, the female that he came okay. out of the divine placenta, right? Then before, because I know a little bit about this, because I think one, the significance of numbers is like one, and then two is like a duality, and then the three is like perfection. The you no, know, the three, three number three represents the feminine world, which also represents the god, the, the number of Ro, and number four represents the masculine world, which is Man. Number four, that's right, yes. Right. Okay. And seven represents perfection. Perfection, yeah, okay, got you, got you. Yes. Three plus four is seven. Yes. Okay, that's perfect. And that is what the um that's what we as serial try to embed in All every right. day of our lives. All right. We'll Let me lives. take it to the next step because I wanted to talk about the symbolism of your religion. So what's the biggest symbol for your religion? African religion. What is it? Uh, we, we, Oh, in my spiritual belief, we don't we don't believe in religion. We no, no, no. I know, I know, I know, I know what you believe, but yeah. so, I'm just uh, saying, what is the symbology that you attach to this entity? Uh, we, we call the Unir, which is the five-pointed star. Five-pointed star. And What's the name of the star? Unir. No, no. Is English? In English, that would be the serious star. The serious star, the one that Allah says, "I'm the Lord of Sirius." Okay, that's fine. All right. So. Now, what is the other symbol besides the star? And then we have like uh, um, what we call mot. Um, excuse me, mot, 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 mot. Mot is like uh, when we go for initiations, yeah. mainly boys, and that is actually it is actually beautifully designed with glasses and all that stuff. And had to at that time they didn't have actually now they put every make it beautiful and all that stuff. But it's actually like a shape of a, um, a pyramid. Oh, a pyramid. And then somebody will carry it on the head. Yeah. And then. He will lead the procession. Mm. That's what we yeah, are. A pyramid that's is our, a very our, significant. Our, our, uh, our, our do you know the significance of that pyramid by any chance? And if you go to, uh, I don't know if you've been to Gambia or Senegal. No, I haven't. Okay. Right, there was the, um, the um, some, what's the called? We call the, uh, what's the called? The, the tumuli, stone circles. 
Okay. And how to put it? Um, it is actually from 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 UNESCO. It has been protected by UNESCO. It's a site the, like, that's the uh, preserved. Yes. The largest concentration of um, stones that exist anywhere in the world. Uh -huh. That's come from UNESCO, and it was my ancestors, the Seri people, that built it. Okay. And it was built for how to put it? Um, for burying the dead, and also for um. Spiritual belief. But oh, okay. Got you, got you, got you. So you also said something about like Christianity or Islam, they have taken stuff from your religion. And I was wondering what you meant uh, in the light of both of I them, but mostly Christianity. What would okay. you say? I didn't say that. What I said was in, in Gambia and Senegal, um, because we were talking about, remember, we were talking about the statistics. Okay. How, yeah, how many, uh, how many Christians or how many Muslims? Yeah, I did ask yeah. you that. Yeah. yeah. So, and then I said, like, um, yes, there are more Muslims and they, then followed by Christians. And yeah, like 85% like Muslims, 10% yeah, yeah, Christians, yeah, yeah, and then maybe 5%. Perfect. And then, oh, but how, however, if you look at what, um, for example, if you look at what the late Prophet, so it's a nature who said who done a deep research, he was a scholar and a researcher and he was he could understand Egyptologists and all that stuff. He looked at all the data, he said that um, if you look at that all the, all the other statistics say this is the this is the statistic, but if you look at if you go deeper, you will find that actually hundred percent of them are actually practicing African spiritual beliefs. And you were you asked me um, what kind of things do they do? And I said, for example, go to the high priest who we call the Saltigi. The Saltigi are the high priest in my in my in my, in my okay. So they will go down there for divination and all that stuff. Divination? For, for, for to get blessings and all that stuff. Okay, so you use the word divination. So in African religion, what how, what is divination? Um, divination, I'd like a article. For example, like we have... Um, in, in, the, in the old days, what they used to do, hmm. the Saltigi, which is the priestly class, they will actually, um, which actually um, around June, if you, if you come to that compare it to that was before the rainy season. Before the rainy season. Mm -hmm. And they will hold actually some mass thing, a very, very mass. We do it at the um, at the at a town called Fatik in Senegal now. And uh, what they will do, all the high priests will gather and then they will divine the future tell what they saw. Yeah, what what they what they envision, what they envision for the um, for the future, for the people, for the country, for the land and all that stuff. So, and, so uh, what's the point of that though? That was how to call it, um, it was spiritual, it was also a day of forgiveness. Forgiveness. The idea of forgiveness. That was the original. It was the day article. Because uh, how was the forgiveness achieved, by the way? Can you just? I you, think I missed that yes. point. The forgiveness comes in when you going? go and ask your fellow man, your fellow woman, to if I, I have wronged you, yeah. and particularly I'm asking for forgiveness. Please forgive me. And particularly because the, because remember I was telling you about the rainy season before the rainy season. Okay. The rainy season is very very important to us because we are our people of the land and people of the sea. Uh huh. So how to call it, um, the rainy seasons have significant importance to us. And because you don't, if you're a farmer, for example, and you have wronged somebody, you don't want bad women to come to you if you haven't asked for their forgiveness. And in our religion, uh -huh. and our spiritual belief, our, our, our teachings is that before you can ask wrong for forgiveness, you have to ask your fellow man to forgive you first. Oh, wow, that's very interesting because the Bible preaches very similar I'm sure stuff. That in the, I'm sure that's universal. Yeah. No, it basically says go and ask, you know, for if you have a problem with your brother, you know, before the night goes down. So that's very good because in the, in the Bible, in Lord's Prayer, it says, forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. So we have to forgive others for God to forgive yeah, us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's a principle you're saying that you guys had, huh? Had look long before even Christian, because Christianity only started in our, in the Senegal, in Africa, when the colonial, um, European colonials come, came back, which was like a... 1700s or so. so. That's interesting. That's very interesting. Because now you've given me one very solid thing that you can say that this is in Christianity and it also was in ours, but ours was prior to Christianity, right? Is that the point, right? And how to, yeah, but I will say how to call it. If you look, you can, you can find similarities in all many, many of these spiritual beliefs or religions. And how to call it, because um, what, we, what they used to call us, well, would be, they would call us, for example, the Muslims and the Christians would call our people pagans and they would prosecute my tribe in particular. And Why would they call them pagans? Um, they, because how to call it, they have Full of their religion. Well, yeah, but then when you say that the deity symbol was the Sirius star, Sirius star is very important because that's the star that the Egyptians' god was the Sirius star, right? Yeah. What the dog star? 
I don't know. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, the dogs are. Uh, there's a deity that the you see on the pyramids. It's a man with the dogs. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's serious. I'm, I'm not familiar with. Uh, yeah, I am a little bit familiar with that. So that means that this goes way back. Yeah. Sirius has been worshipped. Yeah. It was and, like and the, the people. Um, do they call it the night sun or something like that? We have the seven stars. The seven stars. The seven stars. Uh, because that we used to chat those. Uh, what do you call seven sisters? Yeah. We call them Pleiades. Huh? Okay, Pleiades. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. So um, that is a different, that is a different aspect of that thing because I think it goes back to the seven I was talking about, three plus four seven. Yeah. The feminine world, masculine world. Okay. And all that. All that jazz. Now let me ask you something. Do you guys have any views about Jesus Christ in your? No, I guess some of my cats actually converted to is, uh, Christianity. No, I'm not talking about but, uh, the, from your point of view, from mm -hmm. your perspective mm -hmm. of your faith. Mm -hmm. Who was Jesus? Um, I don't or was he a man? Or was he? What was he? And who was he? I, I, honestly, I can actually because actually um, as a neutral person. Sorry. As a neutral person. Okay. I can actually understand the Christian way of saying of explaining the um, the trilogy. The trilogy. The Trinity. I, the Trinity. Are you talking yes. Trinity? I can understand it. I see. Even though I'm not Christian, I'm not Muslim either. I can actually understand it because I can see that. I can. I can. I just remember. So, so you respect. resonate with that. I resonate with that. That makes sense to me. If I put it to you this way, that you are a Trinity yourself because you have a body, mm -hmm. you have a soul, and you have a spirit. Yeah. And yet you are one. Yeah, but this goes back to what I was saying to you. Mm. That was created the universe and everything using its feminine principles. And then fashion it using its masculine principle. So if tell me a little bit more it, about God's feminine uh, principle or God's femininity or what what you consider the feminine. That is something is very taboo that we don't talk Sorry? about. Sorry? That is something is very taboo that we don't talk about. And because article like it actually invoke um, certain things that are taboo to talk about. And Such as, you, uh, you, you don't have to talk about it, yeah. but I'm trying, you, I'm trying to learn. I'm trying to learn. So, tell, speaking to some people, why is it taboo? Why is it taboo? And because you are talking about how to like um, the. Um, what do you call, how do you say this, it has been offensive. Um, the creation, yeah. the you had to use in ex utero. Huh? Ex utero. Ex utero. Ex utero? Ex utero? I'm not sure what that means. I'm um, not sure. Some of the guys may probably tell you. Ex utero. Ex ah. e utero. Because it's the feminine. The feminine. Okay. The feminine giving birth. Okay, give it's giving birth. Yeah. yeah. And so, why yeah, is that I mean, taboo? That's, 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 that's philosophically, yeah. um, mythologically. Speaking. No, I, I've been recently looking into the female deity. This is very fascinating to me because the Bible talks of this, but in a negative way. Okay. Yeah? It should, it's, it should, it's not negative because it's actually, um, it's very, it's very, it's very, it's very, it's very with everybody because we all came from through the Bachanal, all of us. So it will make sense. That in, uh, in our belief, that everything that actually came out through, because, article, because it didn't just come uh, like that, um, there were plans put in place for, for that to happen by Ro. That's what we believe. So you believe that the original Ro was a female entity? No, I didn't say that. Or the female energy? He, 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 no, I didn't say that. He had all the things that you can have to um, He just happened that he created the universe and everything in it using his feminine principle. Mm. But Brought, uh, brought order and fashion to this world when the world was being catastrophic and all that according to our beliefs and by using this masculine energy. It's now if I told you that this entity you're talking about, this energy, this whole thing about the feminine side has been in the mentioned in the Bible. Okay. Okay. And this thing is like always in contrast to the God of the Bible. Mm -hmm. So the Bible explicitly said God created man mm -hmm. and then he created woman. Okay. So now there's a contrast there, yeah. right? There's a, there's a difference. There's a difference. There's a difference. So, yeah. so not both of these things can be correct at the same time. Mm -hmm. So, so it's a of belief, um, which I'm, I'm not going to tell you because in our, spirit, in our belief, we don't tell people that your belief is Let me ask you something. Do you have any significance to the moon or the crescent moon or anything? Um, no, so, so we, re, we, we revere it. Our ancestors used to revere it. Revere but they, it? But they didn't pray to it. 
They didn't pray to it. No, they didn't pray. To Why it. did they revere it? They revere Hard Kuli because it signals something. For example, like it gives us time and Hard Kuli something to use, like a lunar moon and all that stuff, and to do certain rituals and certain ceremonies. So, was, did it have anything to do with the female energy? Um, yes, in a way, yes. Yeah, but in a way. Like, you know, um, but is, is and in which way? Just explain a little bit for me, just which way is it? Um, I'm, I'm not happy to really do, do go to India because I, really, I don't know. Just give me your it. version of it. Um, I'm not a, I'm not no, a very, I'm, I'm, I'm not a preacher, or preacher yeah, no, or anything. No, no, I'm just a regular yeah, guy. I'm, I'm, a, I'm not, I'm not a high priest. I'm not yeah. a saltigi because and I'm a, not either. Only a saltigi can give you. That's why I'm trying to learn I'm what you know. I'm telling you what yeah. I know and how to call it, what I've, what I've learned right. growing up. Right. So. Tell me a little bit more about what you know about the connection between the crescent moon or the moon. I just tell you, but I'm because it would be a lie if I tell you more than that I don't know. But yet. can you repeat that? Because I think I missed it. Yeah. Can you? So the, what I was explaining to you is, is because our ancestors used to use it to determine certain rituals, that certain rituals and certain holidays, certain um, um, rituals that we need to do, and certain, for example, like um, the the Hoi festival. Hoi festival. The, the Hoi festival yeah. What is the Hoi festival? The Hoi festival is divination. That's what I was talking about. That's what the, the day of forgiveness. Ah. And how to call it? And then you have the Gamu festival. We come from Gamahu. Who's Gamahu? Gamahu Gam, Gam, was how to call it. Um, it was they actually come from the word Gam. Uh huh. And uh, that's the root word. Yeah. The radical. And uh, it was like uh, um, a large spear. Yeah. That the whole the eldest high priest yeah. would used to can carry in front of a arena for Hatikul on the day of forgiveness. Uh -huh. And Hatikul that's why Gam Gam Gamahu comes yeah. from that means actually to find the lost heart, to find something sacred. Mm. That's what it means. Did you have any significance for the serpent or the snake? Yes, we do. Okay, tell me a little bit about that. That is the um, the serpent is the what we call pangol, is the symbol of the pangol, which is the ancestral sins and our uh, and the ancestral spirits and our sins, or ancient sins. That's what it stands for. But the serpent is actually not just one serpent. It's two coiled serpents. Ah, two coiled serpents. Two black coiled serpents. Okay. That is the symbol of the pangol. And pangol is our ancient sense and ancestral spirits. Ancestral spirits. Okay. Does it have anything to do with the goddess herself? It has something to do with um, um, the. What's the how do you call it? Um, what's the word? Um, uh, when you reincarnation, reincarnation. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, what is, what is, what is, what is, uh, he he talks a lot about reincarnation. Himself. Oh, I love reincarnation, man. Yeah. It's so it's because yeah, because he's a Gnostic, so yeah. Oh, okay, okay, right, okay. Uh, yeah. I don't. Yeah, he, label, he, I have never <laughs> labeled myself. I labeled myself a Gnostic. What do you label yourself? I I label myself as someone that's following the love of Jesus. Oh, is he God? If you say he's God, then so are we. Oh, why is that? Because we are all the children of God, oh, just okay. as He is. Oh, I see. But He, He, as the first one, first one to overcome, He's the leader in the sense He shows us the way, but He brings us to His level. And that's why He said, "You become as the Master." Okay, so so yeah. we are we are all gods now, or are we going to be gods later? In our true self, in our true essence, we are gods, and that's why Paul says we have to awaken sleeper, rise from the dead, and let Christ shine in us. All right. My friend here, he's from Africa, and he follows the African religion, okay. the ancient African religion, has a lot of uh, uh, beliefs that you have. Such as? Uh, well, reincarnation is one. Okay. All right. So um, the other one would be, do, do you have anything to do with the, what is Sophia? Do you know what Sophia is? Sophia is the, 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 the Holy Spirit. Oh. Okay. It's wisdom. It's wisdom. Wisdom, yeah. Okay. So the, the, the female entity, of yeah, God, yeah, yeah. Uh, the aspect of God, yeah. is, is something that you revere or? Yeah, I, 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 kind, I kind of like, you know, I, 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 I acknowledge that and I love that side of, of God. It's the more comforting, the more gentle, the more, uh -huh. the, the more loving, you know, his love and everything. That, that uh -huh. side of God, that, you know, and that's right. the side that, that's the side in the Holy Spirit, yeah. that's the side that's supposed to comfort us. Yeah, yeah. and he also uh, gives respect to the serpent. Serpent? And, yeah. Do you also do that? 
um, uh, what is the serve? The stick, like a stick. Uh, yeah, but no, no, but no, and I don't mean. He, I can tell you what it means, but uh, you you should know this because if you're following Sophia and stuff, the serpent has a lot to do with that. But well, you don't you know Christian, that. Are you Christian? Okay. Yeah. No, he's not. Okay. No, no, no. He, I don't like no, to label no, no. myself a Christian. Okay, no, no, no. Like he's a Gnostic. Gnostic is very familiar, similar to what you believe. Is most of those stuff that he what's just the, brings in Christ? Christ? Jesus yeah. and then gives oh, it a different no, meaning than what the Bible does. I'm not agnostic there because no. that is my. But sometimes I call him the heretic. That is his nickname as okay, well. Right. But you know, so he doesn't mind. He, he's a proud heretic, right? I'm if heretic so, yes. and proud of it. You're a heretic according to the Catholic Church. Okay, fine. Yeah. All right. Thank you, brother. You've given me a lot of information that I wanted to confirm. But I tell you something that this whole feminine side mm -hmm. is an affront to God. It's, a, it's, a it's an affront to God. Okay, your God. It's my God, yes. Okay, right, okay. Christianity. It's not, he doesn't understand the true God. No, right, I know, I know, I know you do. I know you do. Okay, now the reason why I'm saying this is because you have synergy. Do you like Islam? Uh, it has not been kind to my people for 1,000 right, years. Right, that's so right. No. But spiritually speaking, do you think it has any uh, uh, spiritual value? I don't see it. I don't think so, no. That's right. Now, if I told you that they venerate the same entity that you are talking about, but unknowingly, because when you go to their mosque, what do they have on top of the mosque? Well, they have the heart of the minaret, the thing. Um, that, no, no, what's on top of the half moon thing? Crescent moon. The crescent moon, just yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Now, that crescent moon is attached. Uh, sir, please don't interrupt. Please don't do that. The crescent moon is attached to this lady that you're talking about. The female entity. Is, no, 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 is, no, 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 no. Yes, Okay, no, no. The spiritual no, power no, of no, this. No, no. Uh, you can give it a lot of different names. No, it has that, Diana as its name, yeah, Ishtar. All okay. these goddesses. That yeah, one came from Al Illa, which is how to call it, like the moon god or moon goddess. Whatever. Oh, don't worry about that. Yeah, but, but I, it's no. important to differentiate that because right. our one is actually our we had nothing to do with islam no no i'm just telling you what it resonates with no no with i know i know what you're saying if they, if they even if they were doing that why would they need to cover that up rather than be just be honest with the world and say okay, because they are it. claiming okay this is the thing if satan is going to deceive you he's not going to come and tell you i'm going to deceive you right that happens. wouldn't be a deception and then you would be honest in this satan is i don't be, i don't be, don't hold satan to that. what do you call him huh what do you call him? Uh, we call it just Rap. What? Rap. And what does that mean? In your it's just how to call it mean? Um, is that a spirit? Is yeah, that the, 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 the different spirits? And how to call it like you know the one. evil spirit? Yeah, evil, evil spirit. Yeah, so yeah. where did the evil spirits come from? Hmm? Where did they come from? Um, in your faith? In in, in my faith, how to call it, we believe how to call it like you know um, that uh, um, Rock of course created them like he created everything else. But how to put it? Um, initially, they were not evil. Initially, uh -huh. but they become like a evil. And, and how did yes? And okay. they, they fall this is very so important. Let me ask you something. This is very important. Why did they become evil? Hmm? Why did they become evil? For example, if you go to the how to call the dog, or the, the dog of the forest, which I'm not gonna say its name because it's forbidden, it's taboo. Um, um, we, I will know if I tell you. I can tell you the English word how to call it, You will know, but no, I can't even say that. Um, but Just give me a little he bit. That he was. Um, the false prophet. You see, you see, this is the problem with um, with humanity. Humanity are so arrogant. They think the whole world revolves around them, and it isn't. And okay. we believe the to The first thing that Rock created was the um, the the stream. We stream and everything, and the four trees that grow into the stream between the primordial trees. And then, of course, the first animal that created was how to call the dog of the forest, which I'm going to say. And that god, that dog of the forest, was sent here as an art diver to plant, to how to call it, prepare for the next stage of the cre for the, uh, creation. But what he did was it devoured the original placenta. It devoured the the original placenta. The primordial placenta. Placenta. The primordial placenta. Oh, okay. And then, of course, because placenta would be like giving birth, right? Yeah, which is what so I it would be you. a female entity then again. Okay, got you. So your Satan is somebody who just uh, is. A, is it a female or a male entity? Is, if you have any because gender, anything, to be, there's no, there's no, um, there's no gender, gender attached to it. To any, Does it have uh, any force that's uh, female force or male force? Not Does really, it have any kind of not, no, we no? Don't think about it. connotation now? No. Yeah. no, we do have like hard to Some people maybe say it's a witch and all that. So no, but it's different now. It's, no? it's not the same. Okay, no. got you, got you. Well, uh, th that's very interesting because the reason why I'm saying is that everything that you've said mm. about this 
moon and the and the and the serpent and all that. It, the it, moon. We didn't worship the moon. I know you so don't if, worship. If, 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 I if was you just. You want to say worship? No, uh, you said you venerate it. You you revere it, right? We revere it. For revere it. Time. Okay, the revering. Sun, yes, that's right. I didn't say you worship it. I said you worship it. Right, right, right. But you do revere the female entity, right, or the female energy. Yeah, that's right. My my question. My my thing is this. That female has been represented by the moon for thousands of years, yes. since the Sumerian time. Okay. Okay, that's 6,000 years, mm -hmm. documented. Okay. Okay, so that and the snake. Mm -hmm. The because serpent, yeah. The serpent. Because they give rebirth, the serpent sheds its skin, mm -hmm. so it reborns. And, and, the, and the monthly cycle of the moon is connected to the woman's monthly cycle. Yes. That's yes. how these things are connected. That's I'm just giving you the... That's why I didn't want to talk about it. Go ahead. That's why I didn't want to talk about that part. No, I'm talking yes. about okay, it. Right, yeah, yeah. You can talk yeah, about okay, it. Yeah, because I, I wouldn't be asking yeah, you these yeah, questions if I didn't I understand this. this. To that no, kind of thing. Thank you for yeah. confirming what yeah, I thought okay, it went. Right. Okay, good. Thank yeah. you for your confirmation. Yeah. Even though you didn't think you were going to, now you've confirmed what I'm saying. Okay. So I'm telling you, this has been from the beginning. There is a gender war, spiritual gender war, that is between the God of the Bible mm -hmm. and this female entity. And the Bible calls it the Whore of Babylon. Mm -hmm. It's like the entity that has been there in the Old Testament as well. Mm -hmm. That God is like, you know, she wants to rule the kingdom of God. Who is this Whore of Babylon that you are referring to? This is the woman that was from the beginning. This is Satan himself. Mm -hmm. He is a female entity, but he is also... Are you talking about uh, um, Eve? Eve is not Eve. It was tempted by this mm -hmm. female. Now, if you go and look at art, you'll see in the Middle Age art, they would paint the serpent as a female, giving the apple to Eve. Now, that has a lot of significance if people know what that represents. I think serpents are like the a The serpent is represented as a female. I can show you some pictures if I'm you sure want. I'm sure it was in your culture and other cultures. No, no, that's... In our culture, it's just, it doesn't necessarily mean represented because actually in our culture, um, it is, it is the, because we are talking about shedding of the skin, and uh, when it, that is when it doubles, prepares mm -hmm. to double. And how to feel like you do that is actually the sign that in our beliefs mm -hmm. that it, somebody who had died actually is actually going to The reason why I'm asking you also times. what do you think about Jesus? Do you mm -hmm. think that there was a person called Jesus? I do believe there is a historical man okay. called Jesus. So yes. there was a historical man called Jesus. Was he crucified? Um, from what the what the Islam how to call it, the um, Christian sources say, yeah, he was crucified. No, no, I'm not talking about Christians because I don't know because I don't know. I'm not in the right. religious. Let, so let me say something. Let me say Let me say that. So say, yeah. In history, mm -hmm. if non-Christian history, yeah. like Roman history, like okay. the Romans that they wrote their history, mm -hmm. they were an empire, yeah. they would write what they did. I think they would... Uh, yeah. In I their writings, that, absolutely. They, believe, they, I, they, they say that we crucified this guy. I do believe that. Okay, so it's not yes. a Christian belief yes. that Jesus was crucified. Um, there are all the evidence that it's shows a historical that, that fact. Is, I, I know. Okay. There are all the evidence like that shows that the, the Romans, that's how they used to kill people. Right. So now now we have established one thing, that this is a historical fact rather than a Christian belief. Mm -hmm. So from here on, we won't refer to it as a Christian belief, we refer to it as a historical fact. Historical fact. Right. Okay, fine. fine. I'm fine with that. Right, fine. Thank you. But now the question is, do you believe in the resurrection? As I explained to you before, I actually, uh, it makes more sense to me because of my spiritual belief, because of our, creed, of our divine priesthood. How does it make more sense to you for Jesus to die on the cross and resurrect? Um, it, but I, I think I'd go down because I understand the. Um, the uh, 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 what, what do you call it? Um, read, read, read the, half, the trilogy. Half, half, what was the call? What do you guys call guys, it? Guys, can you be a little bit. Yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. What do you guys call it? You call it the, um, the trilogy or. Trinity. 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 Yeah. I actually, um, I, can, I can understand it. I can understand the argument. And actually, that makes sense to me. That's why I, don't, I just I don't, gave you the example of body, soul, and spirit, yes, right? Yes, okay. Yeah, exactly. So, so it, it has yeah, something that yeah, resonates yeah, exactly. with you, and exactly. you say yeah, that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, but then, sense. if I've just that. established to you that this crucifixion is not a Christian belief, it's a historical fact. Okay. Okay. So then, that means there's a Jesus, and he dies on the cross. Now the question is, did he resurrect? And now you would say, well, that could be a matter of belief, whether he resurrects or not. So. In my view, the, it's beyond belief thing because these people, there were eyewitnesses who died mm. 
for their belief on Jesus' resurrection because mm -hmm. the Romans used to hate Christianity. Mm -hmm. It was like they were pagans or what we call pagans. Mm -hmm. So they used to be like, no, 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 these are heretics, kill them. Okay. Right? If they say that Jesus rose from the dead. Mm -hmm. But they didn't stop saying that. So most of the first ones that did it were the eyewitnesses. They're like, no, 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 I don't believe he rose from I saw him rose from the I, I met him. Mm -hmm. And he wasn't a ghost. He ate with me. I touched him. Mm -hmm. He wasn't a ghost. Okay. So now that tells us that these people were either crazy mm -hmm. or they were lying. But liars would need a motive to lie. Yeah, okay. Okay. Or they were telling the truth. Mm -hmm. Those are the three options. Crazy, liar, mm -hmm. and truth. Okay. What do you think might make sense? Um, it is forbidden for me to pass judgment on a religion that I don't right. have a thing. Uh, it's not but, a judgment. Um, it's yeah, not but, a, it's um, a, no, no, no judgment yeah. um, in your opinion. In my opinion, I believe that I have to call it, um, I do believe that there are some historical facts to many of the incidents that happened regarding Jesus. I do believe there was a Jesus, a man called Jesus. I do believe that he was crucified. I do believe that. Um, now, whether in terms of the resurrection... Now, this uh, is a historical fact. These Christians were fed to the lions. Yeah. They were burned alive yeah. for saying that Jesus rose from the dead. Okay. Now, either they were crazy mm -hmm. or they were liars mm -hmm. or they were telling the truth. Okay. So, can you address this? point please i would not be because i have i was not there i know so we were I not there yeah. i wasn't there either yeah, yeah, exactly. so, but if i so look at I, something I, and i say wait I, a minute I, I, is this guy crazy or is this because either no, because they're telling they the truth they would, be unfair, they would be unfair to christians because particularly um that would, be un that would be unfair to Christians because particularly like, uh, you know... Um, no, no, in your point of view, I'm not... Because you asked me to rationalize something that is spiritual, no, that no, is something it's, it's not spiritual, faith, it's not, no, faith. Faith. take that aside, yeah. put that aside. It's somebody's faith, I'm happy to believe. No, Christians. no, no, it's nothing to do with faith. Right now we're having a conversation, mm -hmm. I'm not trying to... Uh, I'm just trying to, to ask you questions that are common sense, yeah? Because okay. this is common sense, if somebody is saying, oh yeah, kill me, but I saw this man, come back from the dead and I'm not going to change that because I saw it. Mm -hmm. Now this man is either crazy or he's lying but the liar he has to gain something from the lie because we don't lie to so that you can kill me. You know I'm not going to go to the police and say I killed this guy. He said did you kill him? Yeah I did I did and you know, I'm not going to insist on something I didn't do that'll get me killed by the police or put in jail for my life. Yeah. I wouldn't do that. I, so that takes motivation. If I said something, it's to gain something, yeah. right? Yeah, if I'm lying, yeah, yeah, you understand yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. So either these people were liars, but that needs a motive. They don't have one or they were uh, crazy or they were telling the truth. That's no, I mean, the I, I, what, I, what I think had to call it, I do believe that they believe that had to call it like uh, um, Jesus Christ for the pain mm -hmm. and okay. had to call it. And for me, uh, all that matters because it, you see, the, the reason why I bring this up is this. In your faith or in any other faith, mm. there has never been a one that... Now, do There's you think... There's never been a what? There's never been a one that's born from a virgin, first of all. Mm -hmm. Okay, now Jesus is born, has, was born from a virgin. Okay. Now, that alone is a miracle, right? Mm -hmm. Now, if there is something that connects him to like and then he comes in and dies for everyone and mm -hmm. says that I'm gonna give my life for everyone mm -hmm. now he's sinless right mm -hmm. so that means that this person is there's no other religion or faith or any spirituality that has anything like this mm -hmm. where a because he's God, because mm -hmm. you know what Christians believe, he's God and man, mm -hmm. he's fully both. Mm -hmm. Now that means that God came down from heaven mm -hmm. to save us to, by taking our sin on mm -hmm. him mm -hmm. and nailing it to the cross mm -hmm. and dying for and taking our punishment for it. Yeah. Now that's a very powerful statement. It is, yeah. Okay, to either you can reject it superficially and say, no, I don't believe that. Or you can think about it and say, you know, why you don't believe that? Because I think you're a reasonable person. No, I, I, That's why I'm having this conversation. Um, when, when it comes to people, because how to call, like, you know, um, the only thing I can go by is how to call, like, I, I don't want to insult other people's religion. I don't do that. I, I will tell the truth about Islam because I have a 1,000 year history with it. So I will tell that the truth. But when it comes to order, when it comes to Christianity, I don't want to because I be believe it is a matter of faith. And actually, I do believe that, um, you know, Christianity have more merit than Islam. I know what you're saying. Yeah. But so my for friend, me, that, the for thing me, is, that is enough article. If you are Christian and you I, believe that, I the, respect that and I believe. Okay. Yeah. Huh? Okay, let's go. All right. Thank you for for so your time. I hope you come back. But yes. the thing, what I want to leave you oh, with, you. is that I think you have a understanding of Christianity, but. If you want to know the truth, I think you 
can search for it. Mm -hmm. And I know you have your faith, which is fine. But look into Christianity, see if it's false, because either that is false because it's saying the opposite of what you're no, saying. No, I'm not saying. Look, look, look. No, no, no. We are talking opposite because you're saying she created a female entity first, right? Or the female woman first. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying God said I created man. Mm -hmm. Now there is a total opposition here, mm -hmm. right? It shouldn't be opposition. It's just a matter of belief. Because I call it, I'm not going to. It's not a, just I'm a belief not, thing. I'm not going to criticize Christians and it's say not, you're I'm not criticizing. Look, that. right now we are having a conversation. Mm -hmm. I didn't criticize your faith, did I? No, and I don't want to do that. Okay, Christians. you didn't do that. Yeah. All I'm saying is that if you look closely at what I was just telling you, why mm -hmm. would these people say something that wasn't true mm -hmm. or either they were telling the truth? Mm -hmm. That means that if he conquered death, if he came back from death, mm -hmm. he's God. Because God can conquer death, not yeah. man. Mm -hmm. So if Jesus is God, you should be following Jesus. Mm -hmm. That's the main message here. Mm -hmm. Now, I can tell you, you have, you, can, you have a phone, right? Yes. You can go to biblehub.com, right? Mm -hmm. You can read for yourself and find out, especially the New Testament, Book of John and everything, mm -hmm. and try to do some search. You come back here, I'll be happy to talk to you again. Mm -hmm. That's what I do. I talk to a lot of people here mm -hmm. all the time. Mm -hmm. But it's very seldom that I find people like you, who know, here? who know something about this. The, most of the people, they don't understand no, 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 any no, of this stuff. But we are, we are you, like a very, very minor, 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 minor minority. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can give you a more insight into Christianity, which I love to do. Yeah. And it will probably I mean, I mean, resonate with you more. Also, and I hope it does resonate with you more. Mm -hmm. Today is Easter. Yeah. And thank you. And you're happy Easter. <laughs> yes, thank okay. you very much. Thank you, very much. Thank you. And taking, thank you for taking the time. I no, hope to see you again. Are you coming back soon? What is your channel? This channel is called Revelation 22. Uh, uh, 13. Okay. okay. Uh, are you coming back sometimes? Yes, I will come to Hatikul. Okay. okay. When I'm free to uh, every Sunday. Thank you for your time. I appreciate it. Yeah. All right. Take it easy. Read the Bible. Yeah. yeah Thank you. All right. All right. Well, that was uh, just something that I wanted to bring out that there is the female entity worship is the first religion, and the Bible talks about the whore of Babylon and uh, Jeremiah. I don't have exact verses in my mind right now, but I can tell you, if you go back there, she talks about I will never be a, 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 a you know, I won't have orphans or something like that, and, and she's trying to be God. And that female entity is like Satan, and Satan is a female entity in that aspect, but he's also male and female both. But his essence, I believe, is a, uh, is a, a, a you know, a female essence. But that's why all these old religions, they were worshipping the goddess. That is where the serpent comes there, the, sna the crescent moon, which the Muslims worship, and the, and the snake and everything. This is all biblically, the, in the Bible it says, you know, they, were, they took their crescents away from them. I think it's in... Uh, Old Testament, there's a story about that. So all these people, they were followers of the crescent moon or the female entity. It's totally satanic. Jesus is Lord. Happy Easter, everyone. God is risen. Amen.